Hello. In this video segment, we will cover basic electrical schematics and how that helps describe the origin of PLCs. The primary electrical schematic we are going to cover is a discrete circuit. A discrete circuit is either on or off. This is a simple household light circuit. The power is being supplied from the panel breaker, then there's a switch that toggles the light on or off. The discrete circuit can be represented by this drawing. In the circuit, you have a power source. The power could be 120 volts AC, but the newer industrial standard would be 24 volts DC. The switch could be a manually operated device or an electronic device such as a photoelectric sensor. Then you have the load, and the load can be a light or a motor. One step beyond a simple circuit would be to add an electromechanical relay. Relays have two main components, a coil and a contact. When the coil is energized, the contact closes and allows power through the device. This replaces a manually operated switch. Relays have normally open or normally closed contacts. A normally open contact closes when power is supplied to the coil, and a normally closed contact opens when power is supplied to the coil. The names come from the device's state when no power is being applied. From our original circuit drawing, we've replaced the switch with two relays. When voltage is applied to the relays, the circuit closes and allows power to be delivered to the light or the load. In the example, the power controlling the relay's coil does not match the load side of the relay's contacts. This allows the use of a safer voltage for the control circuit while providing larger power circuits to be switched on or off as needed. Combining multiple circuits with relays is the beginning of an automation system. However, as relay control systems grow, the complexity of the wiring in the entire system also grows. A simple circuit can quickly grow into a very large complex panel. In a traditional relay logic panel, it can be very difficult to diagnose and troubleshoot issues due to the complexity. In the late 1960s, General Motors asked companies to provide a new programmable system that would replace GM's complicated relay panels. One of the earliest manufacturers won by using a program language that resembled electrical schematics containing contacts and coils. That has evolved into ladder logic that we use in today's PLCs. Now, common PLC panels are small, simple to program, and easier to troubleshoot.